Hello viewers, there are several common misconceptions about the concept of loss of virginity. It is important to address these misconceptions and promote accurate information. Here are some of the most prevalent misconceptions. Virginity is a physical, tangible thing. Virginity is not a physical or anatomical state that can be definitely measured or determined. It is a social and cultural construct that varies across different cultures and time periods. The concept of virginity often relates to an individual's first sexual experience, but there is no universally agreed upon definition or criteria for it. Virginity can be determined by the presence or absence of the hymen. The presence or absence of a hymen is not a reliable indicator of virginity. Hymen is a thin membrane that can naturally have a wide range of shape, size and elasticity. It can also be stretched or torn due to the various non-sexual activities or factors such as physical exercise or tampon use. Therefore, the state of hymen is not a reliable measure of sexual experience. Losing virginity always involves pain and bleeding for people with vaginas. While some individuals with vaginas may experience pain or mirror bleeding, minor bleeding during the first sexual experience, it is not universal. Pain or bleeding can be the result of various factors including anxiety, lack of arousal or insufficient lubrication. However, many people have pleasurable and pain free first experience especially with adequate communication, consent and preparation. Losing virginity make a person fundamentally different or changes their identity. The notion that the person fundamentally changes after their first sexual experience is subjective and varies from person to person. Engaging in sexual activity does not alter one's core identity or intrinsic worth. It is important to recognize that individual identities and self-worth are not defined solely by their sexual experiences. Virginity is only applicable to heterosexual intercourse. The concept of virginity is not limited to heterosexual intercourse. It can be the relevant to individuals of any sexual orientation or gender identity as in pertain, it pertains to their first consensual sexual experience regardless of the specific sexual activity involved. Losing virginity equates to maturity or adulthood. There is no inherent connection between losing virginity and maturity or adulthood. Sexual experiences are personal and subjective. An individual matures at different rates and in various aspects of life. Sexual activity does not automatically signify emotional, physiological, and social maturity. It is important to remember that discussions about virginity can be sensitive and be deeply personal. Recognizing and challenging these misconceptions help to create a more inclusive and accurate understanding of the human sexuality.